All right, a few more examples for um, our last section for four correlation. So I just copy and pasted this because I wanted to go over this a little bit more. Um, correlation does not prove cause. So just because two things have a relationship does not mean they are causing each other. We talked about this a little bit back in chapter one. Um, but let's look at some examples to make sense of this. So there's a very strong positive linear correlation between the number of churches a city has and the number of bars it has. So basically, if I were to draw a graph with churches compared to bars, it would be a very strong positive line. That's what that tells me. Um, does this mean that going to church is making people drink? That's what cause means. Um, I don't think that's true. Um, I think what's happening here is there's another variable. What did I call it? Oh, I didn't tell you the name. They're called lurking variables. And what is the lurking variable? So why would a city have more churches and have more bars? Probably just because it has more people, right? Right, or population, right? A bigger city just has more of everything. So there's a relationship, right, between a city having churches and bars, but the relationship is really caused by population. So population is a lurking variable, causing both. Hopefully that makes sense. This is how people mislead people with statistics all the time, right? They make a nice graph showing churches and bars. It looks like this. And you're like, wow, churches are driving people to bars. But it's missing information, right? There's more to it. Let's do two more of these. Um, I have a scatter plot below, and we have the number of firefighter, firefighters sent to a fire, and then we have damage. And if I look at this, and if you don't critically think about it, you're like, wow, the firefighters are causing more damage. Um, but let's talk about that. So there's a positive association or correlation, right? That's a similar word, um, with a somewhat strong linear correlation, right? There's definitely somewhat of a line there. Um, so does that mean the increase in firefighters is causing the damage? No, right? Again, it, it doesn't prove cause. It just means there's a lurking variable. Why would a fire have more firefighters and cause money, cause more damage? The size of the fire, right? So the size of the fire is the lurking variable, which is causing more firefighters and more damage. But the firefighters themselves are not causing the damage. There is a relationship between firefighters and damage, right? We have more firefighters when there's more damage, but they're not causing each other. They just happen to both happen at the same time because we have a larger fire. And our final example for the chapter. Um, we have a study of 6 to 11-year-old elementary kids. And we find that there's a strong positive correlation between um, physical coordination and math scores. So if we were to look at a graph, here's physical coordination, like maybe that's PE, and math. And we draw this, right? And it's going up. Maybe it's not a perfect line, right? But as PE... Scores go up, math scores go up. Coordination gets better, uh, math gets better. So in this example, they did arithmetic problems for math, and they did how long it took to take a 50-yard race, and they got an R of 0.83. So does that mean arithmetic is making the kids more coordinated? No, right? This is an example of cause and effect. Um, they're not causing each other. Um, does that mean if I want my kid to do better in math, if I want them to get better arithmetic scores, um, should the school require them to get exercise like running? So more running makes them better at math? No, that's another example of cause. I think there's a lurking variable. Anybody know what it is? Um, I think it's age. Right? These are probably my six-year-olds, my seven-year-olds, my eight, nine, and ten-year-olds. Right? Right? They're just getting older, so they're getting better at both at the same time. Cool. So that's it for chapter four. Um, let me know if you have questions.